my name is Dr. Eric Stelnicki. I'm a pediatric plastic and craniofacial surgeon. Uh, I'm also the medical director of the cleft and craniofacial team at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. I've been a cleft and craniofacial surgeon for approximately nine years here in South Florida. Uh, and I run our, our multidisciplinary group where we see all sorts of children with multiple problems, uh, uh, many of which are related to deformities of the skull. It's definitely becoming more of an epidemic problem across the United States and that has uh, really, really spread and developed since the World Health Organization and the American Academy of Pediatrics um, rightfully decided to sleep children on their back in order to decrease the risk of sudden infant death, death syndrome. The, uh, the problem is that the fallout uh, is that uh, children's heads being soft are easily deformed by the constant pressure on the back of their head, yielding a progressive flatness that uh, is only accentuated over time if the child is not repositioned at an early stage. Things that increase the chance of developing plagiocephaly are uh, babies who were, you know, uh, you know, stuck in the birth canal, had a very cone-shaped head when they were born, uh, torticollis or a tightening of the neck muscle that predisposes the child to tilt and turn the head in one direction uh, definitely increases those the risks. Also, prematurity. Uh, being in an incubator, especially intubated, uh, will increase the, uh, the chance of developing a plagiocephaly or a scaphocephaly, which is another type of skull deformity. I'm Frank Vicari, and I'm a pediatric plastic surgeon at the Children's Memorial Hospital. Uh, I'm a craniofacial surgeon as well, and I've been doing that for the past 18 years. A few years ago, we started a team specifically to address the um, positional acquired asymmetries of the cranial vault because we were seeing that in, in increased number and we uh, call that our uh, Center for Complex Facial Analysis, specifically the Head Shape Evaluation Program. When we decide to put a child in a cranial orthotic, specifically a star band, we have a number of criteria. The most obvious is if the asymmetry uh, has been somewhat long-standing and not responded to conservative measures. Those conservative measures are things like repositioning, tummy time, and often physical therapy. It was pretty obvious initially because even right after birth she was favoring that right side because it just kind of, which led me to believe that maybe she was positioned in utero that way. Um, and so usually around two months or so you start noticing that they're just favoring so it goes flatter and flatter. Um, and I really didn't get concerned until we started trying to change her positioning and it was not working. It was not getting better in any way. It was actually getting worse because she was favoring that side. My name is Ari Yuri Camargo. I am a registered occupational therapist. I've been treating uh, babies uh, with cranial problems for um, a number of years, since actually since 1999. Tummy time is excellent to uh, help children hit their developmental milestones on time. Um, since there is a lot of activities that start on their bellies, um, and it's a starting position for others like going on all fours to sitting upright, balance and so forth. Uh, tummy time is essential uh, to allow babies to go through their developmental milestones on time. Well, the STAR scanner has revolutionized the way that I've, I've, I'm treating uh, my babies with plagiocephaly uh, in, in many, many, many ways. Uh, as a parent, I truly appreciate the way that it is a quick um, way of capturing uh, the head shape, capturing measurements that are able to be duplicated and stored uh, uh, for future reference. Uh, not only number-wise, but also a visual three-dimensional image that can be compared from beginning to end and we can see the sequence of the treatment and how the child is improving. Uh, also, it is an excellent way to uh, capture the image because the child is happy um, and uh, it only takes two seconds, literally, to get the 